So a lot of the the shots that are most important are approach shots. And I think that is my number one stat that I'm writing this week. It's it's number one by a mile. Um, I know that sounds like a really simple answer, but I'm looking at scrambling too. I think these greens are really small. We're going to have a lot of guys that are going to need to get up and down um, in order to save par. If you have to choose one of those guys this week, you have to play one of them. Who is it? I have to play one. It's going to be Boo. And and for a couple different reasons. One, I... I can't get enough of the guy, and I can actually, I can actually root for him on the course. I want you to give me one South African. I love this question. I really do. I'm, I'm in. I, I, I am playing Rory Sabatini, and I'm playing Rory Sabatini in cash. And uh, <laughs> into this and seeing Rory Sabatini, my cash team. So the guy I want to talk about is Scott Stallings. Stallings is definitely on the list. This guy Pat Mayo called him the Mexican Allen Iverson. <laughs> Abraham answer. <laughs> I think, uh, think you should be a good GPP play. Mark Leishman. I am I am so torn on Lee. I'm going to have him. I think he's a great value for his price, but I'm so torn on how I should be feeling about him. He's going to win a PGA Tour event sooner rather than later. If he's going to get ignored this week, I want to bury the dude. I, I think initial ownership estimates on that are, are probably a little off. He's going to be in my, he's my, probably my top three golfers this week. Um, I think that he's way too underpriced. I think that he's too talented. And I mentioned the long iron play. He's one of the best, best long iron players on tour. You got DJ. You got my boy Frankie, Xander, Bryson, and Cooch. Without taking price into account, I think the answer is Dustin, and it's not even close. I think he's just head and shoulders above everybody, and 